Let's take a look at this problem. So this is a problem about postural hypertension, hypotension. And here's the idea. When you're lying down, okay, the blood pressure in your brain is 120 millimeters. And that's 120 millimeters of mercury. Well, here's the thing. When somebody's lying down, every part of the body is at the same height. So here's my amateur sketch of a person lying down. There we go. And the blood pressure is the same every place in their body because your body is basically a column of fluid, but there's no particular depth here. So the pressure everywhere is the same. It's 120 millimeters of mercury, but I'm going to put that in Pascals. And so at this instant, when you're lying down, the pressure is 100, I'm sorry, 16,000 Pascals every place at the heart, also at the brain. But we're going to be particularly interested in this is the pressure at your heart. Okay, now the person stands up. When the person stands up, okay, now the brain is above the heart. And there's a difference in elevation here. And we're told that the difference in elevation is 40 centimeters. Well, that's also 0 0.40 meters. We can write it that way. So now I know this. The pressure at the heart is the same as it was when you're lying down. So it's 16,000 Pascals right here. Okay? The brain is higher up in the fluid column, and so the pressure up here will be less. And that's what we're trying to figure out. What is the pressure here? And we have a threshold to consider. We're told that if it's less than 90 millimeters of mercury, okay, it's considered low. And if the pressure is low, you might feel slightly lightheaded. So I'm expecting a result that's lower than this. That, that's what I'm going to expect going into the problem. Pressure at the heart, pressure at the head, and we're looking for the difference in pressure. Well, this is basically a question about difference in pressure in a fluid column. Okay, because your circulatory system is a column of fluids. And we know the difference in pressure at different depths in a fluid column is just given by this relationship right here. The difference in pressure is rho times g times delta d. Now we know what delta d is, okay? Delta d is just 0 0.40 meters. We also know what the density is. The density is the density of blood. You can look that up in the book. It's 1,060 kilograms per cubic meter. That's slightly more dense than water, and that makes sense because it's got this all solids. The question as to whether or not blood is thicker than water is a question of viscosity or metaphysics. But here, we have everything we need to solve for the pressure difference. And so our solution is basically this. We put numbers in, solve for the pressure difference, and if we do that, here's what we get. I get the difference in pressure is 4,130 Pascals. But the question doesn't ask for the change in pressure. The question asks, what is the pressure at the brain? Well, the pressure at the brain is going to be equal to the pressure at the heart minus the difference. So the pressure at the brain is going to be equal to 16,000 Pascals minus the difference, 4,130 Pascals, or 11,870 pascals, and if we convert that back to millimeters of mercury, it's this. It's 89 millimeters of mercury, and that's in to two significant figures, and that's the unit that the problem was given to us in, and so that's the one which we want to keep here, okay? Now, here's our final pressure, and let's do an assessment. Okay, we're told that values of systolic pressure less than 90 millimeters of mercury is considered low. We end up with something which is just below that threshold. And we expect that, as we talked about, because we're told that if you're standing up too quickly from a reclined position, you can experience lightheadedness. And so we'd expect the number to be lower than this. But it's not dramatically lower than that because it's making you feel lightheaded. But it's not, you know, making you... Uh, you not get enough blood flow to sustain life or something like that. So we expect it's less than this, but just slightly less than that. And so our assessment is that it matches the way the world works, which is a great final step to look for in any problem.